Good morning, students. So, in our previous class, we saw about addition and subtraction of integers, and we started about properties of multiplication of integers. So, in that properties, first property was the closure property in multiplication of integers. First property is closure property. That means when you multiply any two integers, you will get the result the integer only. For example, minus two into three. So both are one is positive integer, one is negative integer. So minus two into three. So six. That is minus six. So here. When you multiply any two integers, you will get the result integer only. So this is first property that is closure property. Second property we saw commutative property. Commutative property means when the product, the product of any two integers in different orders, they remain same. Means for example, a into b or b into a. Is same. That means if I take same example minus two into three or three into minus two, if we change the order, then also the result will be the product will be same. It will be equal. So minus six and minus six. So this is commutative property or order property. Changing the order. Next is associative property. So in associative property, that is also a grouping property. That means when the product of any three integers, they will be same if you change the group. Or, uh, for example, if A plus B plus C is there, if we change. The group means if first we we'll add a plus b or we we'll add b plus c. Here, okay, multiplication. If we we'll multiply these two or we we'll multiply these two, we will get the answer, the result same. So that is associative property. If we we'll take example two into minus three into four. So 2 into minus 3 into 4, that means if we group this, what we get here minus 6 into 4, that is minus 24 and here minus 12, that is minus 24. So that means here for multiplication also it follows associative property. Okay. If we change the group, it will, the result will be, the product will be same. Okay. Now, fourth property is identity property. That means if any integer is multiplied with 1, the result will be the number itself or the integer itself. The product of a, an integer and 1 is the integer itself. Means minus 5 into 1. That is minus 5 with 7 into 1. For negative integer, positive integer to 7. So any integer if it is multiplied with 1, its result, the product is the same integer. That is the identity property. So fourth property is identity property. Next is zero property. Zero property means when any integer it is multiplied with zero, let it be positive, let it be negative, we will get the product zero only. So these properties are same as the whole number or natural number properties on multiplication. So zero property that is any integer 
is multiplied with zero, we will get the answer. The product zero itself. Okay. Now next property is when any integer multiplication by minus one. Means when any integer or it, uh, it is multiplied with minus one, we will get the result, the product as the inverse of that integer. Means if a is an integer which is multiplied with minus one, what we get? We get minus a. Means when any integer is multiplied with Minus 1, we will get the inverse of that. Opposite, the inverse sign, the integer having opposite sign. So, if you are positive is there, you will get negative. If you are negative is there, minus 5 into minus 1. What we get? Here, 5. And minus 7 into, plus 7 into minus 1. That is minus 7. So, we are getting inverse. So, minus 5 is inverse of 5 and 7 is inverse of minus 7. Okay. This is multiplication by 1. Now, next property is distributive property. Means we have to distribute. Now, this distributive property of, of multiplication is on addition and subtraction. Okay. For example, if we are having... A into B plus C. If A, B, C are three integers and A is multiplied with B plus C. So now here we have to distribute. Means if your bracket is there, we have to distribute this. A will be multiplied with B and again it is multiplied with C. Means it is on addition. Multiplication, this distributive property on addition means we have to distribute here addition is given uh, of two integers we have to distribute this multiplication so a we have to multiply with b so a into b plus a into c means we are distributing for example There are two integers. See, this is minus 3 and this is 1. Now, these two integers are there and this is multiplied with 5, which we have to distribute. Now, 5 we have to separately multiply with minus 3 and then 5 we have to multiply with 1. So, we have to distribute. So, 5 into minus 3 plus 5 into 1. Now, then we can multiply this two here. 5, 3 is a 15 and the minus sign plus minus minus. Here in multiplication greater number sign will not come. We have to follow the, uh, this rule. Plus, 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 minus, minus, plus means and minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus. When the separate signs are there, the sign will be negative. Now here we are having separate sign. So sign will be negative. Plus 5. Now here addition is there. So here minus plus we have to subtract. Minus. So here 10 and greater number sign. Now here multiplication is not there. So we have to put greater number sign that is minus. So minus 10. Okay. So like this we have to distribute. So, these are some properties of multiplication of integers based on which we have to solve some examples. Let us see some examples on multiplication. Now, multiply minus 9 into 7. So, when we are multiplying this, what we have to do? We have to multiply the absolute value. And we have to put the sign 
according to the rule. So here, minus seven is sixty-three, and two different. Uh, you have negative, you have positive, so two different signs. So we have to put minus. Unlike different sign, we have to put minus. If same sign, we have to put plus. Only you have to remember this. Now here, first we'll remove the bracket minus seven into two to minus. Then multiply these two. So eleven is our twenty two, and different sign means minus into minus two. Now multiply this absolute value of twenty two and three. So twenty two into three sixty six. But Now here you can see here two signs are same, equal. So when two signs are equal, which sign we have to put? We have to put here plus sign means plus. If you put or not put, it is same. So answer is sixty-six. Okay. Okay, let us see some more examples on multiplication. Minus eight into zero into minus four into three into minus. So now here. We can see here zero is there. So here we can use the property that when any integer is multiplied with zero, here we will get the result, the product zero only. So here minus eight into zero to minus four into three into minus two. So minus eight into zero is zero directly. This into zero is zero. Zero into minus four. Zero into three is zero. And answer is zero. Okay. Now we are having again after this division of integers that we will see in our next class. Thank you.